What's good, people? Uncle Hotep back at it again. How y'all doing? Um, Ancestry Testing Company. It's our moral responsibility to give FBI access to your DNA. <laughs> Yo, I got to tell you a story, right? Um, for Christmas, I think. It was Christmas or... Or, or uh, my birthday. Um, I got one of those... I think it's 23andMe. One of them... Uh, the Paul gave me a 23andMe thing, you know, DNA. She said, oh, I thought you might like to find out <laughs> where you come from, your hump lines and stuff like that. You know, I joke around and say I'm 100% slave and shit like that. It's still sitting there. You know, it's April. <laughs> because I was looking, I was like, man, I'm not doing that shit. <laughs> I was like, no, I'm not doing that shit. I don't know what they're doing with DNA. Now, this company says it's our moral responsibility to give FBI, FBI access to DNA, to your DNA. But this is the pitch. A popular DNA testing company seems to be targeting true crime fans with a new pitch to let them share their genetic information with law enforcement so cops can catch violent criminals. Family Tree DNA raised private concern, re revealed the company had partnered with the FBI and give the agency access to their genealogy database. Law enforcement use of DNA databases has been widely known since last April when California officials revealed genealogy website information was instrumental in determining the identity of the Golden State Killer. But in this case, detectives used publicly shared raw genetic, genetic data on GED match. The recent news about a family tree DNA marked the first time a home DNA test had willingly shared private genetic uh, information with law enforcement. Now, they do, did change the rule to out, allow users out of the ability to opt out of matching with DNA with relatives whose accounts were flags being. Users now have the ability to opt out of matching with DNA relatives whose accounts are flagged as being created to identify the remains of a deceased individual or a perpetrator of a homicide or sexual assault. But now, see, they flipped it. Now the company seems to be embracing the partnership with law enforcement with their campaign ad, Families Want Answers. Um, which is crazy. <laughs> I'll read the rest of this shit. You know, this reminds me of 1984, you know, the book. You know, in, in, in 1984, the book, you know, the, the, the man was omnipresent, you know, uh, everywhere. Um, behind every door, every screen. You woke up, you slept, they watching you and shit like that. Um, you know, and I always used to think how was they going to um, get this type of surveillance in, in, in this 1984 style of, uh, you know, um, so, um, being watched. And the people will give you what they, they, they gave you. They could the, the, the man gave the public the tools to let them be watched themselves. And they'll willingly do it. You just have to package it right. Motherfucker, you make a human being eat shit if you fucking package it right. <laughs> and that's what it is. That's why I'm not, I don't want to, like, like, did I want to know, like, what, you know, um, you know, what section of Africa or if, if you know, or just Native America, what, where did my ancestors come from? You know, I, I, I wanted to do that, but I'm like, man, you can't trust that shit, man. I'm like, the thing is, you know, I understand they can catch criminals through that, you know, and, and to be honest, it pretty soon, if enough people go and do that, they're not even going to know. They, they're like, they can figure it out. <laughs> you know, <laughs> they can figure out yours by default. To be honest, some people didn't even get, like they've been catching people because their cousins put their thing in there. But the thing on the flip side, they could always fucking flip it. You know what I mean? They, they can plant this shit. You know, I, I don't know what they're doing with it besides that. You know, I don't know what they're doing. They could be making clones. I don't fucking know, man. I, like, I don't know, man. 
you know, um, I don't know. I would think they would probably have your DNA already, but <laughs> like, I guess, you know, somewhere, but you know, the, the law enforcement and stuff, but, uh, I don't know. Anyway, this is Uncle Hotep. I'll talk to y'all later. Peace.